In our society, those who have the best knowledge of what is happening are also those who are furthest from seeing the world as it is. In general, the greater the understanding, the greater the delusion. The more intelligent, the less sane. This peculiar linking together of opposites, knowledge with ignorance, cynicism with fanaticism, is one of the chief distinguishing marks of oceanic society. It systematically undermines the solidarity of the family, and it calls its leader by a name which is a direct appeal to the sentiments of family loyalty. These contradictions are not accidental, nor do they result from ordinary hypocrisy. They are deliberate exercises in doublethink. If human equality is to be forever averted, then the prevailing mental condition must be controlled insanity. subordinated to his own inventions. Science, technology, social organization, these things have ceased to serve man. They have become his masters. The price of liberty and even of common humanity is eternal vigilance. To being either a good citizen or a fine scholar Behind this facade, there is a certain element of the unreconstructed bum. This is why modern man has heard enough about guilt and sin. It is because every form of imitation seems to him deadening and sterile that he rebels against the force of tradition that would hold him to well-trodden ways. All such roads for him lead in the wrong direction. He may not know it, but he behaves as if his own individual life were God's special will which must be fulfilled at all costs, which is one of the most tangible evils of the neurotic state. An integrated person is not a person who simply eliminated the sense of guilt or the sense of anxiety from his life, but is something to be recognized as contributive in the same way that manure is contributive to the perfume of the rose. It is, moreover, only in the state of complete abandonment and loneliness that we experience the helpful powers of our own natures. A fool who persists in his folly will become wise. In other words, our rage, and our very proper rage, against evil things which occur in this world, must not overstep itself. So it is suffering, and so it is evil, which makes possible the recognition of virtue.